Hi, okay, great. Hello, welcome. Oh my goodness. So this is the part two video of the steak au pavoir recipe. Go watch the first video for reference, then come back here for your next day leftover. Or you can just forego the fancier meal and go right to the sandwich method instead. You do you. Okay, so first we're gonna make a quick pickle slaw of one cup cabbage, one tablespoon red wine vinegar, half tablespoon of sugar, and a dash of salt. Mix that up real, real, real good. Then let that sit quietly in complete silence, pondering to itself about whether it wants to become a young, snappy pickle or old and full of fermented wisdom of the culinary world. Unbeknownst to it, we will make a decision for it 10 minutes later. It's a cruel world for quick pickles. Next, reheat the leftover steak in a pan, a microwave, an oven, or a candle, or whatever, and slice it up real good. Then get a small hero because we all need one. Preferably one that has seen some battle over flame or in a toaster monster. Now, take the quick pickle slaw and lay it down gently. The slaw adds a great refreshing zesty snap to the sandwich. Then, add the main character of the video, the peppered steak. Fun fact, did you know one in every 10 peppered steaks is actually also a peppered steak? Now you know. And then, we add the supporting acting ingredient, the creamy cognac pepper sauce. However, there's a theory out there whether if the creamy sauce is actually the main character and not the steak. I don't know, you be the judge. What do you think? Comment below and also like this video or subscribe to this channel. I dare you. Okay, so then add a few slices of sharp white cheddar, which is always great in a steak sandwich. It's just meant to be, really. Next, go find your local shady back alley organic food dealer and source some french fries, cause that's how we do. And if that isn't enough and you wanna be even more extra, you can always add an egg to the top. But you can now see why this was a bad idea visually. I guess sometimes too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Visually, this looks like a mess, but I promise you, it's some high caliber deliciousness. Also, in the end, what really matters is what my wife thinks. If it makes her happy, then job well done. Pretty gnarly, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, what's the word? Yum. Mm -hmm. oh, so good.